It's a beautiful square that's open in the middle and structured on the outside. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make the treasury square. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size three in different colors. All right, so we're gonna start with color A and we're gonna start with a slip knot. We're going to make a base ring. So for your base ring, you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then we wanna do a slip stitch into the very first chain that you made. So we insert our hook into it grab the yarn and pull through to close. And we're gonna be working into the center of that ring. If you pull your chains apart, you'll see there's a little hole in there and that's where we wanna work into. So now for row one, we're going to chain one and into the center of the ring, you're going to do one single crochet and then a chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And that's the repetition you wanna do seven more times. So into the ring we do a single crochet and then a chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And now I need this six more times. Single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, chain 10, single crochet, chain 10, until you have um, eight repetitions total. So I'll do that and I'll see you when you're done. Okay, so I just did my final repetition, my eighth repetition. And to finish off this row, I'm going to do a slip stitch into the very first single crochet of the row. So into that first single crochet, insert my hook and pull the yarn through for a slip stitch. And essentially at the end of row one, you should have eight of these chantain loops. So now we're going to move on to row two and we wanna change into color B. So what I do when I change colors, um, just to secure it, I'm gonna do a chain one. And now I can cut off my color A. And we're going to bring on color B into one of the chain, chain, chain why can't I say that? Chain 10 spaces. <laughs> so bring your color B and we can make a slip knot. And we're gonna attach that into one of the chain 10 spaces. So just pick whichever one insert your hook into it, and now grab your color B and bring it forward. So for row two, we're gonna start with a chain three. One, two, three. And that counts as a double crochet. Now into the same space, we're going to do two double crochets. So here is one and two. Now we're going to do um, into the next chain 10 space. So into the next one, we're going to work three double crochets into the next loop. Here's one, here's two and three. Now a chain two and into the same chain space, another three double crochets. And that's gonna give you a corner. That's two and three and now into the next space into the next loop you're going to do three double crochets so here's one two and three and you'll see how the square starts forming that's one corner and now we want to work the other corner so we're going to do that together into the next chain space we're going to do the corner repetition which is three double crochets. That's two, that's three. Then a chain two, and into the same space, three more double crochets. Two and three. Now we move on to the side, we find the next cha chain 10 loop, and into it do three double crochets. So that's one, two and three. Moving on to the next loop, we're going to do three double crochets. Well, basically the corner repetition. So three double crochets, a chain two and three double crochets into the same space. By the way, that's my third one. And as you can see, I've created three corners starting to look more like a square. Now we find the next loop and into it you wanna do three double crochets. 
So here's one. Two. And three. And now we have one more loop to go into which we want a corner repetition. So three double crochets. A chain two and into the same one, three double crochets. Okay. And now that was our very last corner. So now to finish off this row, we want to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that we started with. So we find that third chain, insert our hook, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And this here is the end of row two. Now we can cut off color B. Again, I'm gonna do a chain one, cut off a long enough tail to thread later. And now we're gonna bring our color C. And for that, you wanna attach into any of the chain two uh, of the corners. So I'm gonna go to this first corner on the left here, and I'm gonna do a slip knot. And like I did in my previous row, I'm gonna insert my hook into the space. So the chain two space at the corner and pull my new color forward. So now for row three, we're going to do a chain three. One, two, three. And into the same space, we're going to do two double crochets. So here is one and here's two. Now we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next nine double crochets. So you know how we have the three double crochets on the side. So clusters of three, 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 so that's nine total. You want one double crochet on top of each one of those. So I'm gonna just do that off camera and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, I just did my nine double crochets, which brings me to the corner. And into there I wanna do three double crochets. So here's one, two, and three. And that's what the corner is gonna be. You just want three double crochets in the chain two space at the corner. Then you wanna do your nine double crochets, one on top of each of the previous row. Then corner, meaning three double crochets into the chain two space, then the side, corner, and then the very last side. So I'm going to meet you at the last corner. So once I've done three double crochets here, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I just finished my last corner repetition, the three double crochets into the chain two space. And now I'm gonna do my final nine um, double crochets of the side. I just wanna see, um, help you with the chain three space or the chain three, sorry. So here we have three double crochets. So just one double crochet on top of each one of those. I'm gonna hide my tail of the previous color there as well. Two birds, one stone. This is my third one. And now I've come across the chain three that I started with. So on top of that chain three, because it counts as a double crochet, you're going to do a double crochet on top of it. And then make sure that you go into the next double crochet with a double crochet. And one into each one of the stitches left to make sure that you have those nine double crochets on the side. This is my last one here. And you'll notice that you have this beautiful square. So we find that third chain, insert our hook there, grab the yarn and pull through to close. You can go ahead and cut off your yarn and thread your ends through. Here we have it. Look how gorgeous. This is a really beautiful and easy to work square. It's a nice alternative if you're working something with like a bunch of squares and you wanna sew them together. Incorporate one of these maybe in the mix or do the whole thing with this square. Super pretty, it's open in the middle as you can see, but it's structured on the outsides. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it, just do it.